Yeah. What's up, everybody? Not sure if it's up and going or not. Uh, we had some issues there for a minute. Thought I was going to have to cancel. <laughs> Looks like it's up and going. Man, I got I got more subscribers. Hi. Oh, it even popped up on there. All right, yeah. So, uh, that's kind of new. What's up, El Gunner? I wonder if it's blurry. All right, turn it down, cause I no, it's clear on mine. Man, I got I got more subscribers. Yeah. That thing there keeps popping up. Let me um. What's that? I'm coming up here and gonna wipe y'all off, <laughs> just in case. Polaroid by video. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> Aaron's got the Polaroid going on. <laughs> We've had customers say things about my photography and uh, oh well, is all I say, oh well. <laughs> hey so, John, hey Albert, yeah. hey Ty, hey Mike and Mary, EL, Gunner, go go. Go go. Whoop, whoop. Thanksgiving plans, how much turkey are you gonna eat? We're gonna eat a lot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man. I don't know what's going on. Do you see me? Not sure. On ours it is thinking, so we're not sure if it is still... Charlie. People still commenting. Are y'all seeing it? Is it still rolling? Or did we lose y'all? It's back going on my telephone. It's going on her phone, but we got it. Trellis A U Arctman looks fine here. Well, they're saying it looks Working fine. Here. Maybe it'll catch up. It will. It'll catch up. Cause on on on, on the on the board, it's just it's, it's, oh, oh, oh. it's thinking. I don't know if y'all can see it, but <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Caught back up. All I had to do was show it to itself. Gunner said he lost it for a second, but it's back. Okay, good deal. Uh, good deal. Jamie uh, Dixon, happy birthday! Yeah, happy birthday, Jamie. And uh, so I don't forget. I want to um, ask anybody uh, if they're if they're the praying type to say a prayer for Scott Corvette. Yeah. So um, I'm not going to go into whatever he, he posted about it on facebook but so, so i kind of friend of his on facebook you can go see otherwise just know he needs prayers yeah i don't want to say but he needs prayers <laughs> if you're the praying type so uh i've been praying for him and i'm sure aaron's been praying for him and, and uh also for your brother's mother-in-law yeah, my patty my brother's mother-in-law uh needs prayers as well so um but we're here yeah. and <laughs> we'll be working tomorrow we might leave early i hope so uh-oh <laughs> albert said time to preach nah I, i'm not i'm will i'll save the preaching for last <laughs> i told I, I had my bible in there and i said i better bring my bible in here and there and i said nah i ain't gonna break my bible out but yeah he was about um, to blame me and say i told him not to and i did not tell nah. you not to <laughs> I did go downtown witnessing uh, <laughs> on his for, little bicycle. <laughs> on my bicycle, forty-three years old, on my dyno BMX bike, little bitty old old bike. The pastor and his wife drove by and saw him out there on his little bicycle. <laughs> so uh, hey, Bubba, love you. So yeah, I, I never, I've never done it. God just put it on my heart to go, and it was after we did the food drive at church. I got home and I struck out on the bike and uh, <laughs> went down there. It it went pretty well. I didn't have no nobody attack me, which is good. Which is good. Then you ended up hiking in the mountains. And, and then me come I'm home a, with a pocket of rocks. I'm gonna post about it. <laughs> I posted a picture of us pulling the Chevelle, which was actually yesterday, and I meant to get a picture of it when I had it all set up on there and where we were pulling. Um, it was a wrecked car it got rear-ended so the bow area in the roof structure was bent 
where it pushed the uh, wheelhouse in and it bent it a little bit so we hooked to the wheelhouse after we took the skin off and, and pulled it back out and measured it next it out um, we, we think it's gonna work out um, but I didn't get no more pictures and I figured I would post some cause I know I've posted a lot of um, Jesus stuff on my Instagram and Facebook but where's all the car stuff and people usually are like where's the car stuff you need to get back to the car stuff well Jesus is a part of my life so uh, love it or leave it but um, I was doing the galaxy for a long time but now the galaxy is to a point where I can't do no posting on it because I'm still waiting on the body and I don't post on the Camaro because the Camaro is tech talk day uh, but with but that, I but I am gonna start doing more pictures and stuff on my Instagram and my Facebook and and kind of equal it out um, we did have some bad news I, I'm trying to push but I'm not sure um, but the guy that bought the Camaro is ready for the Camaro yeah all his he stuff didn't, is ready, so... He, he didn't should. really say, I need it right now, but I kind of took it as, you know... I want it right he, now. He wants it, and I'm <laughs> sure he does, because he's got his frame in, uh, the and rod he, shop chassis. He placed his order for his front-end metal. He's so got all his front-end metal coming, yeah. So, um, I'm going to try and get the quarter on and the tail panel and show y'all some tricks on that, because it might be the last on that on this build which we're we're pretty close uh the front has been welded up which we'll go home over here and start working on it or t i can talk about it and and point out some things so aaron can get the camera because we're 15 minutes in anyways let me get my diet coke on real quick what's up double r i went I, and watched some of y'all's videos guys just fyi so if you've got a new subscriber that says maybella my dog has a youtube channel I, that's that was me <laughs> that's how i got so many uh subscribers a lot of them's Aaron. both of our dogs dog. have youtube channels there's a wheezy wheezy maze and there's a May <laughs> valentina maybella maze and they're i'm yeah. just playing i didn't i didn't buy subscribers and i didn't cheat which you can do that but we did cheat with those. That's legit. Like yeah, we our did. two dogs watch all of y'all. <laughs> Which they do watch me because Aaron plays it at home. <laughs> yes. And they watch it. Our dogs do literally watch TV. I guess they hear their dad's voice. But. They do. They're like, why is he not at home? Why is he on the wall? Um, I think I'm gonna turn the heat off. Yeah, we're okay. Cause it's blowing a little loud, and it's a chicken house heater, and it's up there, and it is. It will heat this whole shop really, really quick. So they're awesome. If you don't have no uh, heat in your shop, the chicken house heater. It's the cheapest way to heat this kind of square footage. Um, so put my little my hat on in my. Uh oh, I need those. My safety glass. Oh, Erin, uh, she ain't. She mine are in the truck, and I never remember. I know what she's home. getting for Christmas: a toolbox, Wheezy with baby. her own tools. Let me see. That's, I, got, I don't want that. I got so much stuff. <laughs> I'll just borrow your tools. I want um, a pet a pet weasel. A weasel? Yeah. Man, I got all these chargers and stuff up here. Let me put that down. I, just, I throw my wallet somewhere. Tanks. Well, I'll set this up here. For these right. hurt my nose. These are just like the ones that I used to wear at Triumph. Uh. Um, I gotta remember to carry that stuff. So he me... keeps his wallet in his toolbox. So if we go anywhere, I have to pay the bill. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> That's what. So, um, when we left off the other day, we had, I think we, yeah, we had dropped the quarter panel, and I had talked about what we were going to weld up. Um, so basically, I welded up. The drop off with the spot welder. I welded up the wheelhouse, the quarter structure, the or the inner structure here, uh, all the way down. I plug welded the drip rail up to there. You can tell from the roof up. I didn't 
I just wanted it up to where the quarter panel is going to end, which it ends somewhere in here. It might cover that one, I'm not sure. Uh, cleaned off there, cleaned off there where it's going to weld. And I welded my package tray, which if I was doing it from home, I would probably drill from out here, which it starts right in here, over and then down. Um, welded this which I had, it, I had everything clamped, if you remember. Um, I didn't move my hinge or anything because I was able to get around it with, with the thing. So if you're plug welding, I would probably plug weld everything from out here on this back side. That way you don't see it from the inside of the car. You got all your plug welds out here. You can clean all of it up and you weld all this stuff up after you drop the quarter panel, after you fitted it up. I didn't weld none in here. I didn't weld none of this around, none of it to the drop off. That way when I put the quarter panel back on, if there's an issue, which if you have it clamped and it was working before and you have it clamped properly and nothing moves, you shouldn't have an issue when you go back on. But if it does, if this is loose, it gives you some leeway to be able to maneuver this thing to make up for wherever you messed up. Um, <laughs> So, got that, and I don't have this inner structure welded, which is on the inside. I don't have it welded. I'll, I, I'll drill holes. I should have popped holes in it before, and I'll plug weld it, and I'll grind it, and then I'll single side it. Um, I prepped everything. I, I gotta prep this spot right here. And I need to spray it. It might be out of paint. I might get some more, but. Okay, the reason I didn't paint it now I remember is because if you see, I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, let me see if I can I get yellow. Um, trying to find a light. Uh, I get, can you see that little spot right in there? And let's see on the back side right here you see that the spots that's rust all up under it you see all that that's yellow rust now i'll hand this back to aaron and i'll talk about that um i think scott said he found some on his car yeah scott said did when he got his car back i don't know where aaron's at if she's got me in the um, video gotcha you ain't got nothing. You were in the video. Y'all watch out. That, I wouldn't worry about too much on the inside. Um, that's why I suggest if you're building a car, I wouldn't so much as worry about stripping the inside down to bare metal. You might do any exposed area that uh, is going to get good paint. I would probably strip that. But any area like the floor and all that, I probably wouldn't go through all the stuff of stripping all that to find that rust in there. Um, but what happens is when the factory stamps this thing out, some people, I've got a guy here that works here, that he can touch, he can clean a piece of metal and touch it and by the next morning it will be rusted. So this thing's on the thing and the guy don't have no gloves or something and somebody touches it, it flash rust or it gets some a drop of water or something on it it'll flash it'll flash rust and then they'll send it over to paint and they don't care they just spray it so or they may not know it and it or they it might not know yet, and, and it'd it be under, under it the, yeah. the moisture be under it and it rusts from the inside out so rooftops doors quarter panels all that i would make sure i don't know if aaron's got enough room if i need to move stuff out of the way She's all, like all in my face, but um, I, view, I would strip all that down. That way you can make sure that it's stripped, nothing's touched it, neutralize everything, and then put your paint job on there because I'd hate for you to put a $20,000 paint job on a car and flash rust come up and it end up peeling and ruin a paint job. It's easy in here because you're not going to see it. If the paint peels, cracks, you can fix it. 
out here, it's a whole paint job. All right, but that's why I didn't paint this was because, and then I just started grinding this and you can And it looked like it was just that one spot right there. Now I don't think it's gonna rust in this guy's lifetime if it did because GM didn't even treat none of this stuff anyways. It was just bare metal. Uh, they painted where you could get to. Um, most of the cars we get in and take quarter panels off, it's bare under all this. Yeah. And it ain't, well, it did rust in how many ever years it is. Aaron's the math person from 60, 68, 69. Do what? 55 years. I'm, I'm working it, trying to find if I can see where it ends. Looks like I... I think I... I don't see no more past it. So I just went ahead and went out a little bit with it to make to get it since I did see it. Like he mentioned before though, when a car leaves here, it's got more of a protective coating on it than it ever did from the factory. And I'm out of paint, nope. I'm, I'm, I'm out of paint. He's out. That stuff so is expensive, y'all. I, I cleaned that and I cleaned, I'm gonna do this because this is gonna get welded once the quarter. Now, if you're plug welded, I don't know if I would do all this because plug welding it's pretty much going to burn in when you uh start welding on it so i cleaned that surface i did i cleaned this surface but i didn't paint it because i'm going to stick the machine down in here and weld it to the quarter panel when i get the quarter panel up on it so i had some issues on the back one was this See. Uh, we have questions, comments. Um, Somebody said I just stripped a set of patch panels for the bed on his 90 F250, and the paint just flaked off. It looked like it was brushed on. Yeah, it probably had some flash rust under there or whatever. So I remember, uh, if you remember, I remember uh, why I put this tape on here, but um. <laughs> I put this piece here because this possibly could get a little split and laid in, but I'm not going to worry about that because I can do that while it's on the car with the tail panel still in. Um, but this area right here, I can't do nothing about with it on the car. So it's, it's humped up right here and it was touching the um, tail panel and not letting me get a decent gap right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hammer that out a little bit. A little metal work. I'm gonna try to. What are you using? I'm using a dolly and a Martha Stewart hammer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> No, this was a body hammer, and I don't know what brand, but it's not very good. But ever since I started building cars here, I've been using this hammer, and I can pretty much do anything I need with it. I don't know why, but it's it's a it's a cheap hammer. I've actually got it con I got it contoured on the end for uh, especially for the Camaro quarter panel uh area around right here this area so you shape so i him. can shape it because that's a spot that always has to get shaped on a camaro and i've got it rounded to where i know how to work it pretty much so what i'm doing is just trying to knock that out it's pretty much there.
we do have somebody coming tomorrow for an interview. Yes, we do. So, it's it's pretty close. I still got a little bit trying to figure out how to. Yeah, it's in there. We'll we'll try it. It's just I hate to I hate to um put a quarter panel up on on there and had to take it back down. I only like doing things once. I'm gonna dry work it in with this punch a little bit. So what I'm doing is just going near the backside edge, trying to drive it down a little bit. I don't want to get on that edge because I don't want to change it. And it's, it's pretty much in there. Uh, Gunner says when you put the quarters on, do you measure the quarter window opening width? He's having trouble getting his to 1.25. 1.25. I don't know if that's a measurement. Uh, you, you talking about the, he's talking about the gap in between this right here. Um, I have used to measure them, but uh, usually I, I can look at it and tell about what it is and I use my fingers, so I, I don't pull a measurement on it. And I've never had anybody bring one back or say that it was wrong. So uh, again, that's your calibrated, I, you just do them yeah. so many times that you know what it's supposed to look like and... <laughs> Ooh, that about got your hoodie strap. I, I wouldn't, I mean, where, I don't know how, how far off you are from an inch and a quarter or. I'm having trouble getting mine to 1.25. Yeah, an inch and a quarter. Yeah, it doesn't. But I don't know why, where he would be having trouble at. Um. Gunner, give us some more details, hon. Yeah. I don't know what, I mean, it's pretty much gonna set itself back here when, when, you got, when you got it clamped up, it's pretty much gonna set back here on, on your gap and then you just pretty much make it even all the way out. So, I mean, it, it's. By the way, your mom and dad are on and Mr. Paradise has joined as well. Mom, I tried to get him to drink Diet Coke. It's a, it's a losing battle. He likes the old-fashioned glass this coke. Is, this is my. This is the Mexican one too. Yeah, the, <laughs> with all the real this the sugar. Good, this is the good stuff. This got the real uh, Mexican jumping bean. What sugar. do they call it? Uh, what is it, the word? Cocaine. Cocaine plant. Man, the no, coca plant. No, <laughs> no, I no, no, I don't. I, hopefully not. You're hyper enough. I don't think you need any of that business. He said he's trying to make sure the glass fuzzies will fit properly. <laughs> the top rail of the quarter in that area is more narrow than the original sheet. Uh, yeah, most of the ones we use have that little, the little step in it that everybody <clears throat> tries to get. But, I mean, I, I don't think you would have a problem with it because I don't know. I ain't never really put none of it in, but like I said, I ain't never really had anybody call and say that it was wrong. I usually gauge it. And now I have checked some that I've seen um, off. I've checked them, but I mean, it's just really about pulling it in and welding that, uh, 
piece in the proper spot. You, I mean, I've had to put a clamp out here on the outside when the flat uh, ones and pull it in and then weld in my little the quarter stiffener to help keep it over whatever I did with them. There's somewhere. That's, that's the big pieces. Yeah, Where's the, the big ones? They were with them. What? I don't know. <laughs> Uh-oh, airing them off my pieces. Oh, yeah. We got the four spaces. I use them as a bookmark. I can't remember if this guy wanted this part. Uh, SSRS. I shall find out tomorrow. Um, but I don't know. You know the quarter, the quarter window piece. I actually need to make a video of that installing them because somebody asked for it before the car does leave, and I need to do one of these which I'm going to, then that'll be probably pretty much it because I've done one on the uh, roof skin. I'm trying to see because I had some stuff to do on the back of this. I'm everywhere. So I, I taped this off and what I remember is this piece right here was bulging out and it was keeping it from sitting in. So I'm going to handle that. hammering the part that is already folded because obviously if it's already folded it will drive on in but this edge that's not folded ain't going to drive in so I'm going to grind it but I'm going to I ain't never had to do this much work on a tail panel that's good for the for the guys yeah, it's watching good, it's good for the for the show I guess just when I throw the stuff up there and it goes right on then but you were saying like this edge right here beating on it would kind of be like hitting the floor it, it's not gonna yeah, go anywhere it's not gonna go in it it would I could eventually could fold it, it but yeah. if I do it's gonna end up folding way far back so I'm gonna grind the part this out and then I hammered the part that is folded so your eyes and you <laughs> I can tell it's on a di it's on the, about the same plane. And I had a piece of tape down here because this lip is huge. Usually it's about an eighth of an inch. I do got my little laser pointer thing. It shines so bright. But uh, I'm going to trim it back and I might wait. I'm going to trim it a little bit, but the tail panel's got to come back off so I could fix that. But now the quarter panel, I couldn't get in there and drive it because when I put it up on here, my inner drop off is going to be in the way to fixing it. But the tail panel stuff I can do once I drop the tail panel. Which I pro I'm probably going to need to cut that here a little bit because I'm going to catch heck trying to get my quarter panel slipped in behind it. See if I can get it. Smells like hot dogs. Uh-oh. She must be hungry. <laughs>
I know during the sh last show or one of the shows we the hot rod was messed up. But I fixed it. So now I just trimmed it down to about an eighth and should be good. I'm gonna knock it So it's, it's down and now you can see I can get my uh, quarter panel back in there which I'm trying to put the quarter panel on replicating. I, I could drop this and put the quarter panel on, but I'm trying to replicate somebody doing it at home that saved the tail panel so I can get it on and show how, it's, how it goes on with the tail panel still attached. And then when I drop the tail panel, it'd be like I stuck the quarter panel up here and put the tail panel back on. So now I'm gonna fight and get this quarter panel on and make sure everything's good. I've got my holes up here in the front on my deck filler. I've got my holes in the back on my quarter panel. Holes in the back on the quarter panel because I'm gonna weld from this side inside the trunk. Then I'm gonna weld from this side on the inside of the trunk. Um, everything's prepped. I prepped here uh, around my wheelhouse is prepped in this here and I put some holes, pop some holes in it here. I'm actually gonna hammer that a little bit because it looks, I don't want it to hold it up. Now, I usually like everything over broke. That way, when you put it in, it's not two pieces of metal like this keeping a gap out here. If this is the outside of your, outside of your metal and you want them two surfaces to meet and be tight right in here. If them angles are in like this on the two pieces you're trying to put together, that makes that gap open. So if you over break it and when you put them together and then you clamp that, it's gonna tighten this. So that's why I try to over break everything. You ain't gotta go extreme with it, but, but being as though it fit good when I had the quarter panel on there, but I pulled it off and when I did, it was tight under that foot, so it ended up bending it a little bit. I just wanna make sure when I go back on, it's good, cause I don't wanna pull it back off. I don't, I don't like doing things twice. Um, you, sometimes there's an issue right here. Sometimes the metal on the uh, quarter panel hits the wheelhouse right in here. And you can see they got it trimmed out to go around the wheelhouse. Sometimes you have to trim that back so that this corner will set in and meet up and profile correct with the outside of the car. So this one's good. It was on there. It works. It's got clearance. Um, it's got clearance. So. Let's see if I can fight and get this thing up on here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it up here and I'm gonna get it hooked into my drip rail first. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put something under my roof skin so I can hold it up. That way I ain't gotta fight with it. Um, so I'm gonna stick my quarter up and I'm gonna get it into my drip rail here, which reminds me that I need to prep it. Uh-oh. 
spraying it heavy. All right, so I got that prep. I'm gonna have the door open. Get out, get out there in the way. So I'm gonna go up with it, and I'm gonna put my cell panel piece into my drip reel. Then I'm gonna work in, probably work in the back and get it tucked, started going in. And then I'm gonna work it in the front and get it up under this. And it's it's pretty, it's pretty tight. So I'm I'm gonna have to stick a screwdriver in there and lift that to get it stuck under it. Y'all prepared? Y'all prepared to see me? Uh, wanna watch the fish flop? Y'all y'all gonna see me struggle here? You know? Yeah. Can I'll, you? You I'll can't throw this one from the road sure. like the deck filler? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> cut the camera. Cut yeah. the camera. Okay. All right. It's pretty much in. Under the deck filler. Here. Under the deck filler there. And pretty close here. Pretty, pretty close, fitting the thing. So now, and that thing, I can't believe that. How did that happen, y'all? I don't know. Now let's see. Put a clamp here while I work down here because I don't want it to fall off because I don't want to damage it. So I'm getting my screwdriver and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna lift this little piece in here, maybe. It went, but it, it, if I would've locked your dial. Yeah. My tables won't be done. Step. <laughs> uh oh, movie magic. Movie magic, where? <laughs> Throwing that quarter panel in there. Uh, yeah, I ain't throwing nothing. Does this struggle? The struggle is real with this one. Once it goes, though. I'm sorry I can't get in there and show you what his eyeballs are seeing. There. I didn't struggle. Not one bit. Mm -hmm. So. Y'all, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now that I have that in there, Breezy like Sunday morning. I always, when I told y'all that I put screw holes so that I can make sure that everything goes back where it's supposed to be. So I got a screw hole there and my screw's back. So drive it back a little bit. I'm put that screw back in. Perfect. That one there's lined back up. So screw that one back in. That one's lined back up, so that tells me my quarter panel's back in the right area. And my tail, my tail panel is looking, looking like she's there. So I'm a little way, and I gotta get this pulled in, which it's all this. So let me check my So this never moved. And I know my quarter panel's back in the right spot because everything's working out. So my deck filler's back. This piece went up a little bit when it welded, which is natural. But all I do is get my trusty little strap, the one I like with these little doodads here. And I'm just gonna hook it on the top edge up here. I'm gonna bring it back here. I'm gonna bring it back 
<laughs> and Roger said you're doing it wrong. I'm just, I'm just gonna hook it on the end of my quarter panel right here. Probably, probably will be enough. It's not gonna be too tight. I just need a second hand. And it's pretty, pretty close. Let's see, trying to see what I got going. Let me. I'm trying to find my a clamp. I got plenty over here. Roger said I was doing it wrong. Yeah, he said doing it all wrong. I know. I I can't help it. I'm just I'm just a wrong wrong kind of guy. I tell you. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. I think. Um, <laughs> I watch too much TikTok. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> No, I said that because you, you said I don't like that. There's a guy on TikTok that says, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's a little low and I can't figure out why. So I'm going to clamp it down here. No, nah, I'm going to clamp it back up here. I might figure out in a minute where I want to clamp. Because what I want to do is try to get a... Uh, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try... I'm going to try to put my, my vice grip on it. Leave that on there. And then I'm going to pop this loose. And what I'm gonna do is put me a screw in there so it don't move. I'm gonna find one, I'm gonna find one here. See you later, Jim, thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks. He said he's gonna watch the rest later, he's gotta run. This thing's a little, little full of... Um, Icky? Yeah, full of... Don't metal. blow it my way. So. Yeah, that's it, Roger. Nobody called you out on that statement because everybody's so focused on what Juby's doing right now. What was that? That you're doing it wrong. I, what did I do wrong? All of it. I, well, I like, I want to know. He was messing with you and nobody called him out on it. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, if, if I'm doing wrong, I'll, somebody tell me. Really? Um, Let me see what it looks like. For real, though. So back even at the end my gaps pretty even my gaps a little tight uh might have pulled back a little far mm. so uh i'll lift it up i might go to clamp it so y'all can see me struggle a little bit I'm gonna clamp it right here. I'm gonna take my screw out. Take my vice grips off to see if it might have moved. But it don't don't look like it did. Um just the Charlie said it is mesmerized. And he is. There, gap's good. Gap is all right here. I might could go back a little more on this side. But like I said, I didn't, I didn't pull it. I think, I think this one's gonna be all right on this side. Looks like I'm a little tight over there. I just got to get that. Mr. Driver wants to know if the hinges are welded to the wheel wells at this point. No, they're not. All I have is my clamps on it. And you talked about that, right? So that you would have a little bit of movement if need be. Yeah. And I can, I can still move and adjust everything to where I need. Like just now when I pulled this back, I could have undid all my, um, Hinge clamps. Hinge clamps and all that, and it would have, I could have slid it back where I wanted easy. But 
I don't want to undo what I've already done. And I know it was working before I tore it all apart. So I just keep it where it's at. Um, the quarter panel is going to get worked around right here. So I just got to get that down. If that'll, if that'll work it down. <laughs> Bubba's getting on to me. He said, you can't get him some good gloves. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. He ain't learned yet. These are my... Those are his good gloves. Oh good. These are my good gloves. <laughs> I love these. These are my, these are my holy You're... Jesus. <laughs> these are my holy Jesus gloves here. <laughs> um, this thing is, I got to figure out how to get it up. AUR said he knows what you're doing wrong. You're using them left-handed clamps instead of right-handed. That's, That's exactly. it. Exactly. Let me swap them out and get the other one. <laughs> That's what it was. Man, left-handed. I need right-handed. Right-handed ones. <laughs> um, now, let me grab a... I got a little screwdriver. This one might work. Speaking of gloves, though, are you out and need more? That's a possibility. <laughs> I'll put it um, on the list. But if I took the uh, hinge off, the, the deck lid off, I would just get this thing in here and work this up. I don't know how to really uh, yeah, get I can't. in there. Yeah, I can't get in there either. <laughs> uh, I don't want to break my scribe, but I'm fixing to put a screw in here and undo them. Yeah, your dad said wiggle room. They won't last 10 minutes. <laughs> Talk about your gloves. Man, these gloves. These gloves are awesome. <laughs> these, these gloves are good. Um, it's going, it's just not going. I'm just trying to get it to profile, which ain't really a big deal at this point. It just shows your, but, your, what you're trying to... Yeah, it's just showing that... I'll, I'll take... You're I don't want to take the um, deck lid off right yet. But um, what I'm trying to do is get in under it so that I can lift it. Some lever action? Yeah, some lever action. Lever action. If I could, if I could. Charlie, you're right. Christmas is coming. I can get him a pack of gloves and he can get me a desk weasel. A desk weasel? Yeah. What is a desk weasel? A little pet desk weasel. Okay, <laughs> we're moving on. <laughs> you lost me that desk weasel. I have to see the video. See He's so cute. Trying to see if I might build it. It's working in a little. Uh, a desk weasel. A desk weasel. Yeah, see that's down. I just got to, I got to maintain that spot while I clamp this spot. Hold your mouth right. <laughs> nope, I can't. I can't tell if I'm... Yeah. yeah. Yay. So now, I got them a little far up. But I want to bring... I got 45 clamps in here. I'm trying to find a good pair. And there. So that's pretty much it. I was just trying to get it to profile. Now this little nipple right here is that part that I said it's curved in too much. So I'm gonna end up working that later on after I get everything welded. Curved in like it points towards yeah, the deck. I let the deck closed. lid down. The they're, they're starting to get bad, but you see it's touching it. Yeah. But I can tell my gap's good here so and my gap. You're gonna work it. My gap's right there and then my gap's good here. So I need to work this because my deck lid is at the end of my quarter panel and my gap here is good. So that tells me that my quarter panel's in the correct location in reference to my deck filler. So that means this corner needs to be worked around and 
my gap is good. So, we got that. Now, I'm going to drop out the, my tail panel works. Um, I'm going to pull this over with my clamps. I don't know what time we got. We, we got a few. We got 50% and 30 minutes. Mary, I don't know about a hedgehog. I've I've had a couple of those and they're not they're not the fuzziest of cuddle buddies. Don't be telling her about no animals. So no more animals, it's all just talk. I got this um all figure out which way I want to go with them been so long since I built a Camaro. I was playing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tighten it up a little. A little more, because I want a good grip on it. Somebody at uh, AUR asked, what gap do you aim for, 3 16 Yeah, basically. Uh, I try to go with 3 16 or, I mean, we're not really into gapping. Yeah, we gotta leave something for the body we guy. We gotta leave something for the body man. But I, I try to get it workable. And 3 16 is good, but sometimes it's not possible with certain areas of the car. Because sometimes the quarter panel lines are not correct. Um, and again, we are just installing the sheet metal that is made. We do not make the sheet metal. So, like up here, if I try to get, if I get this at 3 16 which basically is about, about that, this is tight right here. But you can tell from right here down to about right here is dead even. Now, I don't know if it's in the quarter pad, if it's in the deck lid or if it's in the quarter panel. Probably the quarter panel. So what I always do is try to work my quarter panel in to get the gap with the most area, lay that over. And I'll do a little gapping like that right there. I'm not gonna send that out of here with it touching. Yeah. I'm gonna fix it to where it looks pretty uniform to that, where they can lead or whatever they wanna do, body filler, lead. Um, pretty much, if there's anything to do, I'd probably weld on the edge of my uh, deck, lid. deck lid, but it's it's gonna be pretty close. Um, we don't like give I say, them much to do. Uh, huh? You don't give the body guys much to do. No, I mean I'm gonna I'll work it and it'll be like that right there, and I'll, I'll work this over. Uh, I'll cut it and I'll lay it over because it's easier to take away metal than it is to add metal. So if I had the deck lid gap perfect down here, then my gap's huge up here. Everybody talks about splitting it opening it up and then welding that gap up. That's horrible. Nah. Go ahead and pull your quarter panel over further to where your gap right here looks good and you're taking away right here. So you'll slice here, lay everything over and you'll have a clean, nice spot to weld. You won't have to try and fill a gap. And then when you look on the inside, it's not gonna be pretty. Yeah, as noticeable when you do it this way. This side over here, you can tell this side at 3 16 it's pretty, it's pretty even all the way. There's a little nipple right there, which it's always that way because you can see the quarter panel is That's how it all messed up. up. That's how they're stamped out. So I'll end up just hammering that over a little bit because that probably don't even need cutting. I'll probably hammer that over. Then I'll weld that area right there and I'll clean that up. That gap will be good. I'll fix this one over here and it'll be fine. Gunner did say, for those of us following Juby's expert assembly, we are, unfortunately, the body man as well. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, because I can't afford to go, uh, do no, um, have nobody do no paint and body work on my stuff. Uh, I, tr I try to get it, you know, as, as close as I can. I got to put a clamp in there, but I ain't going to. I'm gonna finish doing what I was doing down below. What did I do on my strap? Yeah, I lay it in the trunk. I did. All right, since we have people from all over the place, I have a Thanksgiving question. 
How many of you actually put corn in your cornbread? Uh-oh, watch it now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull one side over at a time because this side over here is moving pretty good on its, it, it, I can move it by hand. So it's not gonna take much to pull it. So if I was to hook both sides and try and pull them together, it's gonna pull this one way in and that one's gonna be way out. So I'm gonna pull this one side and get it pretty tight. And you can see how nice and tight that is. So while I got it in right there, I move this back hammer it a little bit with my with my meat hammer my, <laughs> don't let my dad see that <laughs> it's not good for your wrist um i am lost i'm not lost i am found uh, so i'm going to put a screw and the place i'm going to put the screw is i'm going to go into the quarter panel the drop off and the inner tail structure, the inner uh, cross member, so that hopefully it don't move. Oh, look, yeah, I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> that, it's that left hand. That's uh -huh. a, got a left-handed screw. I'm trying to, trying to do something from the opposite side that I'm used to. So, uh, this screw's probably the end. Killed it. I'm done with that one. We got a lot of folks saying there's no corn in cornbread, and I agree. Ooh, Paul says he puts jalapenos and cheese in his. Uh-oh, Paul, when's dinner? Mm-hmm. We do so, have some that put corn in there, though, guys. So. I'm going to go through all three, and I'm going to let go and see if it moves. Hopefully it don't move. Look at that. Uh, oh, my goodness. Man, Jesus. <laughs> Holy moly. Look. That's, man, sell it. Send it out, that send dog, it out. That dog will hunt. That dog will hunt. Let me see here. Oh boy, Mary, I don't, I don't know if I've heard that. She said she put sugar in her cornbread. Sugar? What? That ain't cornbread, that's cake. <laughs> don't let my dad hear that. That's cake. You making cake? Yeah, that's cake. You're up the up, Mary. So please tell me you don't put sugar in your grits. Don says they don't eat turkey. They eat hog maw. What is that? I'm not sure. We Don. Don, you need to tell us what that is. If it's Sweet, it needs icing. That's a cake. I told you. <laughs> oh, didn't have it clamped tight enough. Y'all get to see the struggle. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna have to look up hog maw. If that's meat, I'm interested. Let me see. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna try. Paul, you're probably right. I don't want to go to Ohio or anywhere this time of year that is cold. Let uh, me try these. Need some with some tea. Because um, I'm, I'm having to pull pretty hard to get this one over. A little cranking motion? Uh, which... It is a little... That looks good. I think what my issue is, is my tail panel my inner cross, cross member. member. So we're gonna have to- Take the tail panel? We're gonna have to back up and punt. Oh boy. Which is pretty good, cause this explains why I did this. <sighs> Georgia okay. did that a lot last week. So I couldn't pull it. Um, it got close, but my clamp just wouldn't hold it. And if you gotta fight that much, something's probably not right. <laughs> Mary so, said, what's grits? <laughs> let me go ahead and put a screw up here because I don't want this stuff to pop out. Don't want to leave all your stuff. Yeah, I just don't want it to go moving on me while I'm 
doing doing anything. Honey. What? Hog maw is sausage and potatoes cooked inside a pig stomach. Heck yeah. I'm game. I'm the, I would try it for sure. Okay, so I couldn't pull it. So obviously there was something going on. I looked over at my tail panel here. And if you can see the, this reveal here is a little different than this side. Mm -hmm. So that means that my tail panel, the inner cross member is a little bit that way. That's keeping that from pushing in cause it's pushing up against it. So your quarter panel can only go so far. So it can only go so far. And that's why I said, don't weld this part until the end. So I stuck it in there. I let it float with my drop offs in there. And if you remember, I put two screws in here. It's a good thing I did because I wasn't sure if I actually did or not, but I did. So I got two screws right here. So what I'm gonna do is undo those two screws. And when I undo them screws, you can move that tail panel. That will panel. allow my tail panel to move. So now when I go to pulling on it, the tail panel should slide with it. Now I might have to readjust this side over here because this is attached to that. Yeah. So let's see if it works, if, if my theory is right. Oh, I'm getting pretty close. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty good. Popcorn and buttermilk. I've never had buttermilk, so I don't know. I, I like popcorn. I don't eat much of it. Uh, it's looking. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good right there. So I'm. A, I want to pull one one more time, but this is where it ends up going bad. Mm. Just to make oh, it good. That's nice. So yeah, it's good. That's nice. And now I'm going to put a screw where it is now. And this side. Yeah, cast iron skillets are not meant to be washed. That is for sure. You'll get a butt whooping over that. I'm trying to make sure I went through all three and I did. And grits are just dried corn ground down to a grit. <laughs> now I'm going to re-screw this to hold my tail panel in place. So now when I drop my tail panel out, everything should stay right where it's at. That's good. And guess what? Your holes been lined up? These holes, oh, I was talking about these holes on here. That's what I was uh, doing. Everything still looks good. So, let me pop this loose and make sure. Still good, still good. Nice. Still good, so. Charlie says this is a great segment, very important area for all these various panels to work together. So, now y'all know why I say not to weld that piece in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the tail panel out and explain what I'll do as far as welding. And I might try and work on other stuff on the car this weekend, finishing out the inner uh, rocker weld up on this side, because I've already done this side and the last little bit on the over there. And when we come back next Tuesday, I'll save the tail panel for the final go in. But I'm gonna drop it out now and show you where I weld. Um, Scott Corbett just joined, hey Scott. I was going to say that right in here, I haven't done it yet, but I gotta get, I usually, Quarter panel, find my hammer, 
What did I do with it? My Martha Stewart hammer. <laughs> hammering the flange a little bit to the quarter panel uh, and the tail panel so that I can uh, attack it, uh, attack it, attach it. Attach it. All right. Um, Would you uh, say it's a good assumption that this is the toughest area of the assembly of this vehicle? Yeah. It's horrible when putting it putting it in I think I would say it is because you'll it's if you got it in the right spot it pretty it goes in and out pretty easy as long as you undo these if you go back to the segment when I first put the tail panel in the very first time I had to remove these inner uh, bumper brackets so I've got them in the right spot now so it should just lean in pop out and then go back in. But right here, uh, if Aaron can get it over here and see it, but the, trying not to get in the way, the tail panel, the trunk floor piece right here, and then my quarter panel. I'm gonna clamp this together and I'm gonna put a tack weld because I can't shoot a screw through it because it'll go through my tail panel. But if I put that there, it's gonna hold my quarter panel in this area in the right plane so that when I drop my tail panel off, you don't lose I, it. I don't lose my in and my in and out on my quarter panels as bad so that when I weld up the inside cross member to my quarter panel, it don't change. So what I'm gonna do is just clamp this over. And I'm gonna put a tack weld on each side. <laughs> Mary's filling in. Scott said that you missed the cornbread conversation. See, yep, cornbread. Do you put Scott corn? Corvette. Yeah. What's up, man? Been praying for you. Ho hope everything's going well, as well as can be. Uh, it's probably not gonna be a great right there. We'll try right here. But um, I might have to get the camera over here to show. Could I open the door and crawl in there? Hmm. I better turn it on. I'll show them. Or, I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to get in the back way, guys. Uh oh, Aaron's getting down and dirty with it. So, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah but this is the, the floor where it kicks up, tail panel, and then that's the quarter panel. So I'm gonna put a tack on my quarter panel and trunk floor right here. And just gonna pop it loose, and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. That's just so, like I said, I don't lose my... Side to side? My side, my side to side. So, so my girl's butt don't get wider. <laughs> trying, I'm trying to, trying to prevent the little Debbies from sneaking in. <laughs> I don't want to end up welding my clamp. Like I say, you can't you can't put a screw through it because you go through your tail panel. Can't have that. Nope. All right, I'm crawling out, right? I'm crawling out. <laughs> I do not know how you do this. <laughs> that was the easy part. <laughs> I'm short though. Like I don't know what I just videoed for three seconds while I was trying to fly out of that car. <laughs> All right. So, um. You remember about putting screws in and knowing where it goes. A lot of people do this. I've got a clamp in here. I, I have it all, I'll have it all clamped up and profiling, but everything looks like it's gonna work out. Everything looks good. This part right here, 
my door, my trunk gap is good all the way to the end. You just gotta work that little end. So, trunk gap's good. I've got a clamp on the inside to my tail panel on this lip. This right here, people always wonder about, man, that thing's away from it. What do I do? Well, if you get one of these, the right-handed one, <laughs> and you put it over here with your left hand, let me tighten it down a little bit, and hand? you clamp inside that little area right there, it's going to push it right in. Oh, that gap disappeared. And when it pushes it oh. in, what it's doing is folding this in because it's breaking on this point. So now that I got that pushed in, I don't have to worry about it. It's Push no big deal. Screw. I'm going to look, like I say, I always put my screw where I can weld it and I can grind it and make it clean. Screw in, stayed where it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to remove the screw and I'm going to remove my clamps, but I have screws in here that tell me where my uh, tail panel is supposed to be. That screw, I actually hit a hole, so you might mark it or whatever. I just, I'll remember that it's the, it's bottom, the bottom screw. <laughs> bottom, screw, screw, they're in the same spot. My inner is locked back in with the screw. I'm gonna take these out, so now when I put everything back in, as long as all these screws line up, I should be money. I shouldn't have no problem with uh, getting everything back to where it's supposed to be. I'm trying to move this, but I don't want to stick it up in the, I want to stick it in the part. So I'm going to drop my clamps. And we're going to see how hard it is to lay this uh, tail panel out. Hopefully it's not hard. Like that. Voila. Ta da. I mean, it don't get no better. It don't get no better. So, like I said, you can see where I tacked right there. And that was to keep this from moving. I got a screw down here. So now I feel safe with welding this. And I feel safe welding this because I'm tacked. My tack didn't break. My tail panel's still in the right spot. And I'll come down through here and I'll weld this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll finish that out. I'll get this all spot welded. I'll spot weld this. I'll hammer that a little bit. And I'll leave the tail panel out so we can fit the tail panel back in next Tuesday. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other stuff in the front and, and all that because like I said, the guy's pretty much ready for his car. So well, two, I'll save the tail panel for Tuesday. I guess we can sit down. We can sit down. It's, it's about 30 after. We're, 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 we did a, a long Thanksgiving special. That's what it was. <laughs> we did a long Thanksgiving special. Talking about cornbread. You gonna eat your cornbread. I think it's neat how some people put whole kernel corn in it. Some people put crushed corn. Some people only uh, use cornmeal. Uh oh. We didn't never a big mistake is when I took the quarter panel off, put the quarter panel back on, did all that fitting and dropped everything. I didn't ever check my door gap, but my door gap is still there. It's still pretty much. It's throwed up there. I, I just throwed it up there. But <laughs> anyway, make sure you check your door gaps. I, I'm trying to find my. Another soda? Yeah, another soda. I need one. Well, there's some cheesecake in here. So, how much battery is it? You got 25%. Oh, that battery lasted pretty good. Yeah, it did all right. Tail panel Tuesday. That's it. That's the <laughs> tail panel Tuesday. Yep, so that, that's basically it. Um, and plus, I'll leave the tail panel, I want to leave the tail panel off too because I want to explain where I weld to the end of the um, 
frame rails. The end of the frame rails and the gas tank straps. So I'll do that Tuesday. We'll uh, make an episode of that Tuesday and we'll get all that taken care of. It might be the um, last Tuesday you guys see the Camaro. Yeah, but there'll be more Camaros if yes. we need anything else. But I think, I think I've, I've got 12 on the books. So. <laughs> I think I've pretty much covered everything on the Camaro. I've done the roof on another video, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock the roof out and have everything ready to just do that tail panel and then the guy can probably come get his uh, car. See ya, Mr. Fish. See ya, Bubba. Love you, Mom. So. Great show as usual. Thank you, Ty. Next week's title. Yeah, I'll. I'll tell panel Tuesday. Tell panel Tuesday. <laughs> On a Tuesday. See, I love y'all guys so much that I'm skipping Taco Tuesday to hang out. <laughs> I'm going to have to try some of that. What was it? Pog, hog, Pog, Mog. Hog, Hogmog, hog hogwash. <laughs> Hogmog. Hog, hogmog. <laughs> Charlie said good job, Aaron. Uh, it was up top, and I was trying to read. Scott had said something. Yeah, like and subscribe. Charlie, uh, Charlie, Charlie's my manager. Now, uh, like goes web design. Charlie's yeah. the manager and the uh, micro manager of all measurements. Yeah, <laughs> we so, love it. Thank you guys. Uh, Gogo said he had tacos today. <laughs> I ain't had tacos in a while. We had hamburgers. That might be my Thanksgiving dinner, turkey tacos. Yeah, because uh, uh, we're not really doing anything for Thanksgiving this year. Nah, we're. Everything got canceled for reasons, you know, out of control, whatever. Yeah. It's all good. All our plans got canceled, and I had already <laughs> mentioned about carrying the uh, Chassis. Chassis? Laura Levon's undercarriage <laughs> um, to my dad's, which he won't be home. Uh, so I'm gonna, me and Aaron are probably just going to load it on the trailer tomorrow, and we'll leave out Tuesday, Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> drive it up there and I'm gonna pick up a table saw that he bought me so I can make some little crosses um, and we'll probably go to Golden Corral I think they're open on Thanksgiving Day and we'll probably have Golden Corral for Thanksgiving and make a day of it and come back home and play with the puppies yeah so <laughs> thank you Charlie yes uh, I'm, I'm I just realized that I'm every bit of 40 trying to climb in that car. What is, my dad said answer Gunner. Where's he at? Gunner. Gunner just was... asking again for those of us without a spot welder. Can you use 1 8 plug welds in the drip rails at the front of the quarter? Sorry we missed that. No. Yeah, I'm sorry we missed it. We're, we're, not, we're not used to all the questions tonight. <laughs> uh, so let's see, we he's just asking one eight flow welts in the <laughs> drip rails at the front of the quarter. I'm not sure, uh, I mean, you can, you can plug weld it, it's just gonna be a lot of grinding. And to make it look clean. A, a one eighth is kind of small and I don't think you'll be able to penetrate. I don't know if you had seen the spot welder. Um, I'll get it out and show you. It's really um, inexpensive and I'll be using it when I weld up the tail panel. Um, you what? I'm going to get a Camaro shirt. So, uh, we use it to weld up the tail panel area. We used to use it to weld the drip rail, uh, and we used to use it to weld the uh, trunk gutters. But I have four of these left in large. After that, they are gone. But I ended up taking a bit, a, a uh, diode, whatever, electrode, out of the spot welder that was old, and I put it in the um, chuck on the drill press, and I used my grinder and kind of make me a little mini, mini lathe, and I turn it down to where this will fit down in there and weld it with the spot welder. But I'll show you this inexpensive... Uh, spot welder you can buy them at harbor freight i believe and we use we used to use it on the drip rails we used to use it in the trunk gutters we use it on the tail panel we still use it on the tail panel 
uh, but I'll grab it and show it to you. It's really inexpensive and it's going to make everything so much cleaner. You can actually, I mean, you could weld along the front of the window, around the roof, all the way around the roof, um, trunk gutters, around your quarter panels, uh, wheelhouses. They make different attachments and it's, it's not a uh, 40. He said if, if, if he had to get a spot welder, he would. It, it's a a forty thousand dollar rig so um <laughs> uh i'll show you this little one and i think they're around a hundred and something two hundred dollars maybe uh, which for the time it's gonna save you it's probably pretty pretty worth it and uh i also have i think i've got one mopar shirt left in large i do have them all still in hoodies black and gray almost all sizes i think but this is it it's just a handheld device and it plugs in 220. Um, I think the one at Harbor Freight might be a 110, but this is the this is the fitting that I use for uh, the tail panel going around on the inside of the tail panel. It's got a settings guide right here where you can set it for the thicknesses. Pulse or are, uh, are just straight weld different uh powers i guess and different thicknesses of metal and you can also get these other die these other electrodes that go in there and they have the two points and that right there will get in your drip rails and in your um trunk gutters and stuff so go this Go says harbor freight has the 110 and the 240 version and with black friday coming up they might be on sale so I would invest in this. I don't think a 1 8 uh, spot weld is going to hold you because you're probably not going to, it's going to close the hole with weld before you get to penetrate the bottom piece of metal. We got these zip up hoodies in. Scott, I know you were wanting one, but they, um, not but, I love them, but they do not have the. The GM, let me just stand over here. The GM design or the Mopar design. Woo. I don't know. I had to let, let me be the cameraman because <laughs> camera I don't know what she's doing, but let's see. Yeah, so she's done got it dirty. Well, it's she? probably mine. She probably pulled mine out and started <laughs> wearing it today. That's very possible because we wear the same size. So, um, but I got these, these are the sweatshirts that are zip up hoodies. And I've got some like fleece shirts that are zip up hooded too. They're all black. The hoodies are kind of a heather gray, but they all have the, just our basic logo on them. Um, Y'all, yeah. I love it. 31 still going. So uh, are we missing anybody? Harbor Freight has an expensive. I'm trying to look through because <laughs> I'm sorry I missed you, Gunner. Um, I, I don't mean to. We get off on, on totally different things, and it's kind of hard to look at the feed here. Uh, go, go, okay. 110, 240. Uh, yeah. You're welcome, Gunner. Um, Bob said thanks for the weekly lesson. Happy Turkey Day. Got it. The spot welder is on the Christmas wish list for the wife. Paul said another great tech talk. Scott said 2X. I think we got 2X in the zip-up. I zip got up. it in 2X and 3X in the zip-up. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty cool. I like it. I wear it. I rock it. I'll even, <laughs> I'll even sign it. That'll make it special. I'm just playing. I... I think I, uh, I didn't get any smalls. I don't think they had smalls, but I did get mediums. So I got medium, large, extra large, double X and triple X. Very few triple X though. When they're gone, they're gone. That's just kind of what it is. Yeah, see, I don't Has know what that art, Artman. TP? I don't know what one that is. A-H, 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 A-H-T-P. <laughs> you Mexican, yeah. A-H-T-P. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not sure what one it is. It, it probably is. I haven't never really looked at the thing. The quick spot two number 605001. And then uh I guess that's Arctman said that for 169 for the 110, 174 for the 220. Oh. Yeah. Save you five bucks I mean, and get a 110. <laughs> 
well. Two, the 220 I would probably trust more on the uh, weld. Like I said, <laughs> that, that one welds great. I don't know about the Harbor Freight model. I don't think that one's too much better than it. Uh, it works. It, it holds. I've welded just a, a piece of metal in here before with it, and it, 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 it's, it's good. Um, for the amount of money you're going to spend versus breaking drill bits, trying to drill one-eighth holes, uh, welding wire, gas, grinding rocks, all that stuff, I think you would come out better and have a whole lot cleaner build with and and less less cussing and more drinking if you drank i guess <laughs> uh go go said it i was thinking it but I, I i figured amazon would have them too so if you want to put that on the wifey's list as well because you know i love amazon we get a package from amazon at least once a week yeah if she ain't got packages coming in go go's got them coming in <laughs> <laughs> uh I, I, I love go go box with a smiley face that's it mary i look forward to it i got some clicky sharpie markers this week i'm too lazy to go to walmart and buy them <laughs> she's got nine thousand sharpies and markers <laughs> i have a problem and you bought some more <laughs> they're clicky <laughs> oh my somebody come and rescue me <laughs> i should be out buying thousand dollar michael kors purses but i'm buying ten dollar sharpie markers leave me alone you're okay <laughs> i'm building three three hundred thousand dollar cars for my dad uh, no. yeah that's why i didn't buy four packs of sharpies <laughs> <laughs> she didn't buy four sharpies because i spent all the money on the <laughs> galaxy um by the way i did get the galaxy uh little shirts. Uh, the shirts and plaques they mm -hmm. came in the plaque for my dad from the show so it got its actually got its first show uh plaque that i went ahead and had paid for uh the plaque's up on the shelf you probably can't reach it but i went ahead and paid for it because the car was supposed to be there but it didn't we were there the car was there in spirit so we do have the galaxies over the moon uh moonshine is that what it says galaxies at the 55th moonshine yeah i'm gonna get this oh it's galaxy the 55th at the 55th moonshine dawsonville and it's got ken mays 1964 then we got XL. a moonshine shirt and it's got i don't know what all that it's moonshine stuff on the back but anyway so yeah he got those but anyways, it's um We got ten percent. We got ten percent. Which one do you have? Oh, so they're still talking. I, I'm gonna have to go up there to um Charlie's. That that can be an episode in itself. I'm not visiting anybody up north until the, the snow is gone. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to wait till that's gone. <laughs> even though I love the snow. No. Mm -mm. Not for me. Uh, let's see. Why would you recommend the 220 over the 110? Just because it gives it a stronger weld, or because yeah. some people, not everybody has 220 ran at their house, though. Just make you up a drop cord and run it from your wife's dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> make you up a drop cord. How? 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 You can't move the dryer out there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Pull the car around to the window near the dryer in the laundry room. There you go. And run it out. Mm -hmm. um, but Your neighbors I, will love you. The 110 would probably work. I don't know. Go-Go probably... Go-Go uh, go, 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 go instantly. He knows that if I go up there, he's got to come. He's like, uh, no, can't work on a car in the cold. cold. Too cold. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Charlie probably. even said, not this time of year. <laughs> it's a big no-no at charlie 120 so see go go's got the 120 and the go the, the 120 probably works probably works good uh i've always heard that 220 uses less power than than 110 or whatever 120 110 jk next garage said great show again thank you gunner yeah, said thanks. my water heater broke today but i put fixing it on hold until the show is done uh -oh. that's dedication Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's love for the game right there. 
Quick spot. <laughs> two price. It says U.S. Well Quick Spot Two Price Seven Seventy Nine, which still ain't bad. I mean, it's a spot welder, and you're going to be able to do it, save yourself a lot. You can you can get a lot of places with it, and and it's a whole lot cleaner. That's how much we like you too, Gunner. Thank you. <laughs> what? And that's how much he likes the show. And Scott says that he just don't think you can substitute the amperage that you get with two twenty. Yeah. That makes that makes very logical sense. Less current draw at 220. Yeah, I knew Go Go. He's the he's the wiring guy. <laughs> he, I didn't want to say I didn't want to say what I, what what I believe because Go Go would have corrected me and then I'd probably look like a fool. <laughs> so, all right, but, it's getting time to go feed yeah, puppies. And I gotta eat. And uh, Aaron's got me a piece of cheesecake. Boy, this cheesecake was that thick. It was like a cheesecake tire. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Oh my goodness. It looked like Laura Levine's uh, big old booty over here. Oh, and, and Carnivore is off for the next few weeks because we had pre-ordered cupcakes for two Thanksgiving events that both actually ended up getting canceled. So now we have, since we bought three dozen, we got a free dozen with that. So now we have four dozen homemade cupcakes. Somebody. Don't know what we need Let to me do go this. look at my phone real quick. Okay. Because I, I think I seen Paul Walsh said state certified electrician. But I think he sent me a message and I meant to look at my phone because I was going to try to answer because I didn't know if whoever it was. Go, 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 go. Uh, <laughs> was the one on my phone. But they sent me something. Somebody did. Somebody did. Because it was in my um spam or not my spam but my oh charlie freeze them that's mm, my freeze some there's pecan pie cupcakes key lime pie cupcakes strawberry cupcakes um red velvet cupcakes vanilla cupcakes chocolate cupcakes i'm gonna leave a dozen here because one of our builders birthday's next week so i'll get to use a dozen up that way i'll probably take uh -huh. a dozen to church but i still got two dozen on <laughs> If I can figure out where you get to. Oh, is it message request? Mary says frozen cupcakes are Oh, no, it was on Instagram. I, so many places for messages. Um, Roger, enjoy your tacos. Firebird. Thunder uh, Chicken. 400. Hey, Juby, hope you're having a good Saturday night. When you get a chance, I was wondering how you like to place your dash panel on a 67 Camaro. I got mine up. I had to put the dash in this car, and I'm not sure if he's on this show, but I'll just answer him on here. I'll take a picture and show him or a video on this, but I think there's another one. Oh, this is another guy that asked about a 69 Camaro. All right, so it wasn't. I was just making sure, because I get messages on my phone too, and they were in message requests, and I was trying to see if I had a, uh, if he would send them to me, I could print them out and we could make sure that we got yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I did. Or y'all could just email me. <laughs> so, but anyways, we about to head out and we'll see y'all next a cupcake for Tuesday <laughs> for tail, tail Panel Tuesday. Tail, tonight was Turkey Talk Tuesday. Turkey Talk Tuesday. Turkey, so next tail week panel tail Tuesday. Panel Tuesday. <laughs> T T T. No, T P T. Tell panel Tuesday, yeah. Yep, toilet paper. Toilet paper Tuesday <laughs> next week. Um, I am the great Cornholio. <laughs> so, man, we done ran so late, the camera's about to die, and I ain't even talked about Jesus. <laughs> we where's love a, him. Where's Albert? <laughs> but, anyways. He's eating tacos. I hope everybody has a uh, happy Thanksgiving and safe travels. Oh, while yeah, you're traveling. we gotta leave a couple of cupcakes for your mom. Yeah, I gotta put some cupcakes in my in the refrigerator for my mom when I drop off the car. Cause all Strawberry, we're... red velvet, or pecan pie? Which ones? Yeah, I'll, I'll, message. I'll message you, but all we're doing <laughs> is coming there and dropping the car off, and we're coming back home. Cause well, Golden Corral, then home. Gold, Golden Corral, and then home. Cause we but I'll make sure we drop some off for you, mom. And. Like I said, uh, <laughs> yeah, go go. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. I said the great portfolio. Oh you said man. TP. <laughs> TP. Oh man, she's she lost me. I'm an '80s baby. That's what it, I grew it's up been. Watching. It's been a great night <laughs> hanging out with you guys. And like I say, go 
if you ain't a subscriber to Mr. Fireman, go go. Um, the whole crew. There's so many people so here many that have great here videos that, available yeah. that are doing the same thing that we're trying to help you guys do. DIY all the way. Go check everybody out. Like and subscribe theirs. Like and subscribe to ours as well. Share. Hit the bell so you don't miss us any Tuesdays that we go live. Donald said he'll send an email. Perfect. So, whatever. Okay. So, if anybody wants me to uh, tell their um, YouTube channel, if you want to send an email with your channel name to yeah. the email, I'll make sure that I announce it so that everybody knows next time. And maybe next time we'll uh, we'll just ask everybody that's got a channel to comment, and then everybody can select that channel and go subscribe to it. Or if you send it to me, I'll type it, and then anybody that's watching it can just click on it and link right to you. And if you have a channel, I'll subscribe to it. You yes, Miss Pat. If I have it. it so, Augusta was canceled. Yep. I'll message you. <laughs> so, but anyways, love you guys, love and me. yeah, Paradise Bay Customs. I, don't forget Paradise, uh, R R and R double R, um, Mr. Fireman, yeah, and go go, Mr. Fireman. And I Paradise. gotta send something to double R, did I? I didn't. I can't keep up. I didn't. I don't know if I ever got a address. I think he did. I'm lost. <laughs> Happy Turkey Day. Everybody yeah. gets really, really full. The average American eats 4,500 calories on Thanksgiving Day. So enjoy it while you can. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Yeah, so go like, share, subscribe if you ain't already. And come and, back Tuesday. Uh, yeah, come back for <laughs> Tail Panel Tuesday. 